Soap the Great, and I'm bringing you another episode of Building This City on the Adventure Time multiplayer server. And that is right, we are actually building a city, or rather, a little village. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is a neat little project. So last time we built this path in the fishing pier and the fishing shack. This week, we are going to build the church building, okay? So if you look in... If you go around and look at the various generated villages in a Minecraft world, you will occasionally run into a church building. It's one of the rarer spawns along with the blacksmith shop. Um, and if you do get a church building in your village, you will also end up with one of the cleric villagers. And they give some pretty good trades, especially on the enchanted books. But, um, but yeah, we're, we're trying to get a lot of the same buildings in this village that a standard generated Minecraft village will produce and uh, a church building is one of those. Now as with the well uh, I am going to take some creative liberties with the church building uh, because I don't particularly like the design of the church building in standard uh, vanilla Minecraft so um, I've worked out something in creative I looked at a few, few different types in uh, from other people and kind of merge some design features together and uh, we'll see what we end up with but uh, we're gonna take it on a cut-by-cut -cut basis and so you'll see the thing go from from uh, groundbreaking up to the final decoration and then we'll go from there we've got a few other things that we need to uh, take care of with that church building as well but uh, again so we're gonna take some creative liberty so do bear with me it's not going to be uh, the generated Minecraft church building and and we'll get away from that so we we got away from it or we took creative liberties with the well we're gonna take it with the church building which I'm going to be placing I think in this area this gives me enough room um, it's got a rather large footprint so this gives me enough room back here uh, along with the path that I can uh, I can use this area so we're gonna put it here and uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll take some creative liberties there, but we'll be on to the standard Minecraft uh, village buildings in, uh, in a future episode. But uh, for now, just just bear with me. And uh, if you don't like it, do let me know. But if you're enjoying it, let me know about that as well. So that is enough chatting. Let's get the outline for this thing done, and then uh, we'll see if it works out, okay? I will see you in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And you can see the outline kind of coming together here. So we're going to be, it's going to be set up a little bit above this main path. It'll be more in line with that side. So we have to come downstairs here. And uh, just got this laid out. We're going to have the foyer in here and then the main sanctuary area here and we'll put the the uh, pulpit area back here now we'll have have the windows and stuff but I wanted to get this laid out and kind of get a feel for the overall footprint because I built this in creative and I'm trying trying some new stuff kind of changing some things up the one in creative is a little bit um, it's not as wide we've got one extra block here we'll see if that ends up working because I want to get a window on this face and this face we'll see if it works out um, but yeah so here's here's the footprint you can see it is much larger than the standard Minecraft village church but, uh, but yeah once it comes together it'll it'll have more of a cozy feel I think based on what I've been working on in creative so uh, next up we need to get the walls up and uh, kind of get a feel for where the windows are going to be so um, I will see you in just a moment with those all right ladies and gentlemen we're back you can see the walls they are now up and we've got the entry area coming together and you can see this foyer we've got the little little wall or uh, window poke outs there and same here so here in the the main main seating area we're gonna have two high windows 
here in the foyer one high um, it's just the it gives a, a pretty standard feel um, and then out here you can see some of the decoration going in we're doing stairs right there just to give a little inset feel and then uh, let's see what else uh, back here we're gonna put a cross cutout uh, we're gonna go with a Christian themed church building because uh, that happens to be the culture that I come from and that uh, the other members of the server come from so uh, we're, we're just gonna theme it after that and uh, yeah so there we go At, this isn't quite done we've got to wait to put on the roof before it is fully fully fleshed out there but uh, that's going to be the next step so uh, tell me what you think of the walls so far um, and you know by the end of this episode you're going to see the whole thing built but uh, but yeah let me know what you think uh, I'd love to hear from you but uh, anyway next up we need to get a roof on this thing and uh, yeah so we'll try and bring in some wood to offset this, this kind of cold cold stone exterior so let's take a look at what we've put together there all right back in a bit all right ladies and gentlemen well the roof is done and I am trying to just hide it from you so we can get a little bit of a big reveal a little bit of a big reveal ready ready and boom there we go what do you think so we got the roof on and we've got it all the way back we've even got the beginnings of a steeple we're not fully decorated yet but let's take a look at this roof okay missing a lot of details don't don't worry about that we're gonna we're gonna get to that but uh, first things first we need to get that the main base done and then we can start going back through and detailing it so here we go on the entrance uh, we're bringing in some wood texture here and that offsets a little bit brings a little more warm character to it uh, we're still using the oak logs there but, uh, but yeah we got uh, we got the fence posts and the oak oak uh, roof same here uh, all along so oak stairs on the top and and uh, right in the middle we've got this little ridge line let's do I have inter yeah I've got ender pearls let's see if we can get up there no overshot yeah that's terrible all right so we're up here uh, we've got this this uh, ridge line in the middle which um, breaks up the monotony of the wood a little bit and the wood itself is breaking up the monotony of the stone and uh, we've got the little overhangs there just a little bit of detail not too much we're not going to overly stylize this thing because we're going for more of a simple build okay uh, let's see I finished out that uh, no stair stair Ooh, gotta, gotta change that but we'll get to that and then let's go inside and take a look at the inside of the roof we got here there we go that's the foyer area you know what that needs to be a plank based on what I've put together in creative there we go that's a little bit better all right then in here along the edges we've dropped down a little bit just to you know it it breaks it up some rather than having this full one level uh, gives a little bit of, of detail just to offset those those layers there and the wood really brings a warm character to it to offset all of this this stone same thing right here and then uh, just went with a different texture inside with these cobble stairs but uh, yeah it's coming together and I am quite enjoying this project I've enjoyed uh, enjoyed putting it together in creative and and it's kinda of fun seeing it come together in survival here so next up we need to finish the inside and then we need to decorate the outside some don't we so uh, so let's get on with that and I will bring you back oh one more thing I failed to note this when we were looking at the walls but um, 
my original outline we've been out here and one more on the other side and I just couldn't make it work with a window here and make it look good both on the inside and the outside so what we've done I brought this back in one on both sides and we're just no window okay so not a problem we got plenty of windows elsewhere but uh, yeah sorry I failed to note that earlier and just a uh, little tangent there so anyway when we come back we should be all done with the decorating of the building itself okay so see you in just a moment alright ladies and gentlemen once again we're gonna get ready for the big reveal uh, let's drop down here take some some damage do you want to see the inside or the outside first how about the outside let's just uh, get the full view there we go there we go this is from one side um, you can see what I've done is uh, I put in the I, I dipped into my stash of mossy stone brick and cracked stone brick and I've just put that all around just changed out various blocks of the stone brick to give the idea that this thing has been here for a while and and has a bit of decay coming in um, I have put some stylings in just to highlight some of the wood in the in the overall build and break up the this texture some because uh, too much stone right in a row it, I don't know I don't care for the monolithic design so much so I did have to bring in some styling uh, fixed up the stair like I mentioned in the last jump cut and you can see a bit of the inside through here. Uh, finished off the cross there and then got the windows in. Uh, and then up here, let's... Ooh, I need to eat. Let's go up on the roof. Hopefully I... Yeah, there we go. I put in some styling here. Put a... Uh, put the... What is that? Uh, logs right in the middle and fence posts around. Um, just to give us a little bit of design and it uh, if you've if you've looked at these before you know some of you may not understand the the architecture so much but uh, I've been around my fair share of church buildings and this it's pretty standard here in the US to to see with these uh, these steeples a little bit of styling and really bells and stuff used to be in there for uh, you know the the morning bells and uh, call to to service bells. That's uh, what they would what they would play. So that's what we're we're trying to go for there. And then I put um, you you often see a, a cross on top of steeples, and so no different here. So we got that. And then uh, next thing, let's go inside. Um, I've done a little bit of work here. Um, I've got I put an enchanting table, not for any use, but uh, Sometimes in churches you'll see a little guest book, so uh, that's our guest book. You can't actually sign it, but uh, you just have to suspend disbelief for a little bit. Got a little flower table here. Um, nothing much. No, no, nothing on the walls. I mean, I've changed out some of this stuff, but down on the floor, you see all the carpet. Went with red carpet, and the red carpet is hiding glowstone underneath. So we're not going to have an issue with mobs spawning in here. And then we've got the pews, just little little stairs, and I've put item frames and little blocks of spruce wood. Is that spruce? Yeah, that's spruce. So you can sit down. Okay. And then up here, a little chandelier. Should that come down one? Uh, you know, I can't. That might need to come down one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but uh, let's see what else. We've got the pulpit here. You may be wondering what in the world is going on with these note blocks. It's rather, rather expensive, don't you think? Well, you got to keep in mind I've got a witch farm, so anything with redstone is not that expensive anymore. But we're using these um, to kind of give the idea that this is an old-time pulpit before we had uh, PA systems or anything like that. They would use acoustics to project their voice, so. Um, this is it's called Jack in the Pulpit. I think that's the, the term for it. So uh, eventually we will have a cleric villager stuffed in there. So uh, he will be 
the permanent on-duty preacher here at this uh, this village church building. So, so yeah, we got the note blocks behind to give a little bit of acoustic tile feel. And uh, once again, we should not have a problem with zombies or even baby zombies. Well, that's out so that we can get the villager into place. But, uh, but yeah, we shouldn't have an issue with them, shouldn't get to them. And, uh, yeah, so I think... I think we're pretty much done with decorating the church building. Um, you know, if I if I do any more, I will make sure to let you know. But our next order of business happens to be out here. Now, if you've listened to me talk about this, the reason that we're doing this village is because a village used to be over there, right where the um, the rail station is, and it was destroyed by zombies and um, and and this whole thing this whole village is really a memorial to the villagers whose lives were lost in the uh, the attacks of the zombies um, before uh, we were really able to get our feet under us here on the server so um, you know with with any uh, any type of church if you check out check those out here where I live a lot of them have cemeteries attached to them so we're gonna do that we're gonna build a cemetery um, out here and a little memorial garden for the villagers whose lives were lost and uh, we'll see what we can do with that so um, I'm gonna get working on that and I will bring you back once uh, we've got that done um, before I do that though let me just make a note about this block that is a chilled stone block. I pulled that from the uh, what was it? The jungle temple that was close by my base, way to the north. And uh, I decided, you know what? Let's use it here. This is a nice place for it. And if you look at most churches here in the U.S., they will make a note of which stone was placed as the cornerstone. And uh, that'll be the cornerstone. So we'll just pretend that that was the first block placed. Um, it really wasn't. But uh, we'll just pretend, okay? Just like we're pretending that it's been here for a while with the mossy stone brick and all that. So, uh, so anyway, next up, we're going to build a little memorial gardens. And I will bring you back and show that to you once we are done with it, okay? So stay tuned, and I will be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And I've completed the memorial gardens. So let's just take a look real quick. All right, so we come in here. And let's just just take a solemn walk through and, and pay our respects. And at this time, I would like to ask you to join me in a moment of silence to honor our dearly departed brethren. Thank you. We will never forget. They fought a good fight. A brave fight, but alas, the zombie hordes were too great for them, and Aston and Sternfear were just not properly equipped at the time. So, that is what we are honoring with this village project. We're rebuilding. We will not let the zombies win. No. Anyway, enough of that. So, the memorial gardens are done, and what I've got here is... Uh, 11 grave markers. You can see them lined out here. And you can see on the signs here I've got the title that they, they had. So uh, nine farmers, a librarian, and a butcher. And now you, you might be wondering how in the world did I come up with those numbers and that specific title arrangement? And that is because I went into creative. I cr did a new a new creative world using 1.5 because I think this map was originally generated in 1.5 and I put in this seed and I flew around the village that uh, was actually over there where the rail station is now um, and I flew around it and just tried to count up all the villagers and I got a count of 11 with one being a librarian one being a butcher and the rest farmers so so there we go um, so what do you think of the memorial gardens here we got the kind of overgrown nature, got some flowers planted, got a uh, custom tree here that I, I like the trunk, not too happy with the leaves, it looks a little too bulky for my 
taste, but this is the first ever custom tree that I've built, so we're going to leave it as is and just chalk that up to uh, a, you know, a beginner's lesson, okay? So, so yeah, we'll leave that as is. Um, but, you know, look forward to your comments and suggestions, and especially because we need something a little more personable than just librarian and butcher. How about some names? So if you got any ideas for names, even multiples, okay? We need 11 names here. And uh, and you can hear that we might need some names for some other new residents in the place. Yeah. Okay, Let's we'll take a look at those in just a moment. Um, I wanted to call your attention to this tree as well. This may look like a custom tree, and it kind of is, but it started out as a super tree. And if you're not sure what a super tree is or how to force grow one, uh, do let me know. I'd be glad to do a mini tutorial on it. Or you can probably find out on the wiki or, or online somewhere. But, uh, but yeah, I force grew a super tree and then just yeah, added some some logs here and there. Made the, the base a little bit wider and added some roots and just threw on some more leaves. But that's about it. So it's a mix of uh, Minecraft generation and me generation. Okay. The other thing, um, I've just gone ahead and done the rest of this phase, and you can see it kind of coming together here. The first thing was this fountain. It's not highly stylized, but it's got a decent amount of detail in it. And uh, it, again, keeps the theme of it's kind of been here for a while. And, uh, yeah, so... It looks it looks nice again it's not we're not going for overly fancy here this is a kind of a backwater village so they don't have tons of stuff available to them so uh, yeah we got a simple fountain for a rather simple town the other thing here is the market stalls when I was looking at ideas for these online I kept seeing colored wool in stripes and I just didn't want to bring in the colored wool or the colored clay. I wanted to stick with the textures of the wood and the stone. Oop. I'm going to need... Do I have any bone meal? No bone meal. Um, I'll have to come back and fix that. But uh, I went with regular oak and dark oak. Just alternating. It got that little roof design. And I've gone ahead and placed villagers in here. You can just come in and open up their stall and do your interaction with them. I've got nothing for these guys. How about this one? Nothing. You want emeralds right away. How about you? Emeralds. That's rich. Okay, anyway. Um, I've got one villager of each type, and then I've got a couple each of a few of the more important ones, like the librarian, which could give a paper trade some somewhere in there. I haven't gone through and... F oh, I've already been trading with this guy. Um, yeah, I haven't gone through to figure out if they're perfect villagers or not, but they are villagers, and you can do some trading with them. And then over here, I stuffed one in here, even though I said I wouldn't initially, that I was going to wait till the end, but I figured with, with the lack of buildings that are around, it was a lot easier to run the tracks to get them to where they needed to go. So, we've got villagers in place now, even in here put a cleric in. What's he got? He's a glowstone guy. Okay. Um, the other thing is a suggestion by Aztin. A little holy water basin for the church. Which I think is a nice addition. So, little details. Um, and you'll notice that I have not put in the door. Or maybe I did earlier, but I pulled it out once I got the villagers in. Because I don't want this registering as a village quite yet. So, there are no wooden doors which means this is not a village. I'm going to put doors on once all the permanent residents are in place, and that is because I want the village to be formed in a certain way. And I haven't quite figured out what that certain way is, but uh, once all the buildings and villagers are in place, I will know, or at least I'll figure it out. But, uh, but yeah, there we go. So I've got that done, uh, that done. We've got the church done, memorial gardens. I think, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this phase of the Memorial Village project. So, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And, uh, again, I need some names for 
these guys and the more permanent current residents. So uh, let me know in the comments below or catch me on Twitter at MC Soap the Great. I would love to hear from you. But uh, anyway, join us next week as we work on the farms. I think we'll get some farms going back there and some farms and pastures going over there and maybe even get into some of the regular village buildings. But uh, I don't know. We'll see how far we get next time. But join us for that. And uh, look forward to it. And uh, we will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.